Uh, my name is Lisa Barnhill and I finished my PhD in molecular toxicology at UCLA and I started in Jeff Bronstein's lab as a molecular toxicology student and I study the neurotoxicity associated with environmental exposures, particularly how environmental exposures are relevant to Parkinson's disease. So as a part of our research, we take transgenic fish lines and also in fish that are exposed to environmental toxins and we examine them in the larval stage as well as the adult stage and we're looking for changes in movement and distance traveled relative to light and dark conditions. But we also have genetic lines that show uh, some deficits that may be consistent with neurodegenerative disease and one thing we can do with the zebra cube in the zebra box, which is very nice for high throughput screening, is to find the molecular pathways that are involved in that neurodegeneration and then try to rescue them chemically. So we can screen through possible therapeutics and attempt to rescue the molecular phenotype that we've caused in the fish. Instrument itself is physically very different um, and it's much easier to load, load the plate. So drawing the boxes is really convenient. We just set the first condition. Generate a protocol that's 12 columns, eight rows. And follow the instructions. This immediately populates uh, well-drawn boxes, and each of those 96 well plates will track one larvae. Uh, we have done this tracking for up to two days in one well, and it has shown really consistent and reproducible results for us. One big change for us is the ability to monitor adults. Uh, we previously weren't able to track fish over the age of about seven days and so we now are able to use it up to two and a half year old fish right if the fish don't swim at all or if the fish are obviously moving abnormally we would be able to detect that but this gives us the opportunity to look at more subtle changes particularly in response to light cycling we've been really happy generally um, and I'm excited to see the new things that we can test with it when we get to a place in our research where we have other questions